In tonight's health source, a local woman became the first in our state and one of the first in the country to get a heart repair without open heart surgery. The clinical trial may offer a chance for many Americans to breathe a lot easier. We're really glad we could help you. One by one, Susan Volker's doctors walked into her room to check on her the day after they gave her a new heart valve. They were amazed, really delighted at how fast she was recovering. You were the first one ever to, uh, to eat pancakes in the open heart recovery unit. So. For the last few years, her big heart valve was getting dangerously narrow. It really affected me in my breathing and it, I was fatigued all the time. The condition is usually treated with open heart surgery and valve replacement. Some patients are not good candidates for surgery. They may have other illnesses that may preclude them from having a good outcome in surgery. So doctors Barry George, Daniel Watson, and Stephen Yakubov tried a new minimally invasive technique. They slipped a collapsed version of this artificial heart valve through a slit in Susan's skin, threaded it through an artery to her heart. There, it opened up to help blood flow through her heart more easily again. We have a chance now to treat some patients who did not have options before. Dr. Yakubov says without major surgery, patients should recover much quicker. Hopefully this will get them back to feeling better right away. Susan cannot wait. I know that my breathing will be better, and I know that I won't be fatigued all the time. Now, this is part of a clinical trial. If it pans out, it may provide a non-surgical fix for 100,000 Americans every year with aortic valve disease. That's so badly needed, too. Oh, for sure. As we continue to